Welcome to our Victorian Revival Project. The main focus of this renovation was the kitchen. I have to admit, it was one of the more challenging layouts that we've ever redesigned. There was an octagon-shaped staircase that runs through the center of the house and the whole kitchen was centered along that octagon. There was an angled range alcove, a trapezoid-shaped island, I don't think I've ever said the word trapezoid in regards to design before, and a lot of layout quirks that made it very awkward and dysfunctional. The tiled countertops and the color palette were also very dated. It was stuck in the 80s. We completely reworked the kitchen by moving the center of the kitchen into the former breakfast nook and recentering the entire space on the other side of the room. We also opened up the wall that leads into the dining room. This completely changed the entire feeling of the heart of the home. The flow is so much better and now the focus is on the beautiful kitchen instead of the quirky angled details of this Victorian home. The very first design choice that I made for this kitchen was the cabinetry teller. When I first started thinking about the design for this kitchen, I knew that we needed a pop of color and blue felt like just the right choice. The color is Puritan Gray by Benjamin Moore. I love it because it is a hint of blue, a hint of gray. It's really a chameleon color. In certain light, you even get a little bit of green coming in. It doesn't feel too concentrated and bright, but it really lightens up the space and adds that very historic, unique Victorian feel to the room. The whole color palette of this entire renovation was inspired by a Morris & Company wallpaper that we used on the fireplace wall in the living room, and this shade of blue was pulled out of that wallpaper pattern. We grounded the room with a dark stained oak island and I love the way that the darker wood tone contrasts with the light floors and the blue on the walls. We brought in neutral creams and whites as accent colors, starting of course with this beautiful Barcelo cream marble, which is throughout the entire kitchen. It's a honed marble and the texture and color palette is perfect for the space. The other favorite neutral in the space is the tile in the backsplash, which is both in the range alcove and on the backsplash of the fridge wall. This is a handcrafted tile from Ann Sachs. Every piece is a little bit unique, and when you get up close, you can really see the character that it adds to the kitchen. One of our favorite things to do in any kitchen is mix metals. All the plumbing fixtures are polished nickel, and then we have an unlacquered brass on the hardware, which will patina over time. And then there's an aged antiqued brass on these adorable ruffle pendants on the ceiling. Speaking of pendants, one of the ways that we really made this room feel quaint and English instead of expansive and modern was by playing with scale and using these smaller Duval ruffled ceramic pendants in the kitchen. They are beautiful, they are dainty, and you almost don't notice them when you first walk in the room, and then as you get close, you realize how beautiful they really are. Let's take a closer look at the kitchen layout. The family that lives in this home has six kids, so we needed to maximize every inch of space for a very large family. One of the most important ways that we did that was by creating as large of an island as possible. This island is over 12 feet long, which allows for six bar stools, plenty of room for every kid in the family. We also played a little bit with asymmetry as a nod to the asymmetry of this home as a whole, and we left room for open seating on one end and open shelving on the other end, which again is that little bit of English historic inspired charm. One of my favorite things in the entire kitchen is this beautiful range alcove. It is centered between two windows. There was originally only one window on this wall and we reworked the window layout to maximize light and create symmetry on this wall behind me. And then on either side of that is a, an appliance garage and storage and then an additional oven and microwave. This wall is the workhorse of the kitchen and the range alcove is the perfect centerpiece with the beautiful tile and the induction range. That is a unique feature of this kitchen. Rather than a gas range, our clients went with induction, which is a really amazing technology, easy to clean and looks clean and simple and beautiful in the space. On the other side of the kitchen, our clients have a beautiful antique pine buffet table that really centers the space between the kitchen and the dining room. There used to be a wall here that we removed to open up the space and it allows for 
maximum family flow in and out throughout the house. Then we put a large 72 inch round table to seat at least eight people, if not more. And one of my favorite features in the space is the mismatched chairs. These are vintage chairs from Europe and no two are exactly alike. Let's take a minute to talk about the living room. One of the most effective changes we made to the layout on this main floor was to remove a closet in the walkway between the kitchen and the living room. Now the line of sight from the sink is directly into the living space where the family is all spending time. This is not a large living space, so we needed to be intentional with every single inch to maximize the number of people that could be seated at any given time. We replaced a smaller sofa and two chairs with a large sectional that really fills in the space and feels just right in the room, and then we accented it with two beautiful camel velvet chairs. The color palette ties directly into the kitchen and is all inspired by that beautiful Morrison Company wallpaper. Thank you so much for coming along with us here today at our Victorian Revival Project. We loved working with these clients to rework their home and create a space that is both beautiful and functional, hopefully for many, many years to come.